The State Public Service Commission heard comments today on Northwestern Energy's plan to provide electric power for its Montana customers over the next 20 years. But before the PSE session, renewable power advocates rallied outside the building in Helena, saying that Northwestern's plan has some big holes. Northwestern says it needs to build or acquire 800 megawatts of power in the next several years to serve its Montana customers, twice the amount of power it owns now. Protesters at Monday's rally said the plan should include more wind, solar, or other renewable power, which is both cleaner and cheaper. They also question why the plan includes coal-fired power from Coal Strip when the Coal Strip plants could be shut down during the 20-year period. Critics say Northwestern is not revealing the detailed numbers or analysis that led it to rely on coal or gas-fired power and that the company is resisting independently developed projects that could provide lower cost and reliable power. The regulated mon monopoly, it is guaranteed a reasonable profit and it doesn't need to own everything in order to make a profit. But Northwestern Energy wants to make even bigger profits by owning everything, even if it's more expensive and having the rate payers foot the bill. Northwestern Energy has this proprietary modeling that they're doing that seems to always reach the same conclusion that they have to move to toward fossil fuels. Let's have some transparency about how we spend a billion dollars. Well, the PSC can only comment on Northwestern's plan, but it will decide whether to approve any individual power projects or contracts put forth by the company in the future.